The very public Amanda Bynes saga is getting even worse today with word the troubled Charlotte may be exhibiting signs of schizophrenia following yet another arrest on Monday. Amanda Bynes' downward spiral continues in a California hospital where she could be ordered to stay for another two weeks. TMZ is now reporting the actress is showing signs of schizophrenia and undergoing a mental health evaluation. Bynes was taken into police custody Monday night after officers say she started a fire outside a home in Thousand Oaks, California. Actress Leah Michelle appearing on the cover of next month's Marie Claire, Mexico. The photo was taken during happier times, just one month before the sudden death of her boyfriend and co-star Corey Monteith. Inside the mag, the Glee star gushes about Monteith, saying, quote, He is the best person I know. He has made my life so incredible, and I'm so thankful for him, and not only to have him as a partner, but also as a co-worker. Just weeks later, Monteith's body was found in a Vancouver hotel. Autopsy results showed he died of a lethal mix of drugs and alcohol. Reps with the magazine say their thoughts are with Leah. Lana Del Rey is bashing Lady Gaga in her new song, So Legit. Using Gaga's real name, the singer spouts out nasty lyrics like, Stephanie, you suck. I know you're selling 20 million. Wish they could have seen you when we booed you off in Williamsburg. She goes on saying, you're looking like a man. You're talking like a baby. Just what went sour with the two stars isn't clear. Gaga has not responded, but her little monsters aren't staying quiet. Del Rey's Facebook and Twitter accounts have been flooded by angry messages. Meanwhile, Gaga's keeping busy on her new album, Art Pop, which comes out in November. A 23-second teaser has been leaked online, showing the singer seductively licking what appears to be a monster's hand. And have a look at this, Lady Gaga almost unrecognizable. In a picture posted for fans, Mother Monster's going au naturel with bare skin and black hair. <laughs> Rihanna's typically tough exterior is no match for an adoring crowd in France. Thanking fans for their support during her recent performance, the singer revealed her emotional side, wiping away tears as concert goers cheered her on. Maybe Rihanna isn't so hard after all. Scream queen Danielle Harris in town for her latest gore flick, Hatchet 3, her character on a mission to take down a sociopath on a rampage. I sawed his body into little pieces. I'm pretty sure he's dead. You're you giving know? kids nightmares. Oh gosh, it's all fake kids, it's all fake. Yeah. Danielle is no stranger to the bloody genre, having starred in the Halloween series and now making her directorial debut with Among Friends. And surprise, surprise, it involves a bit of blood. It does, a bit of blood. Oh Where is she? This is where the game really gets going. There, there's so few female uh, directors in the genre, but yet all of the leads are females, and I just hadn't really understood why, you know, why that was happening. It's just a really messed up chick flick, and I just felt like I could be a bit of a messed up chick myself. Hatchet 3 and Among Friends will be out on DVD in late August. Entertainment City, brought to you by Fallsview Casino Resort in Niagara Falls, the place you want to be.